Hello everyone. I'm Elena from Canada. I'm Ukrainian Canadian. And now I would like us to think about future of the world. What do we look forward to? What will happen next as uh, Russian troops approach middle of Ukraine and the war that Putin put on Ukraine is advancing. Today um, I feel like I am in history book, so probably you feel the same. Let's see what Tara will say. Will Ukraine be free for the, for the next, let's say, year or not? Um, I am standing in the beautiful woods in Pacific Spirit Park near UBC, University of British Columbia. And uh, I know for sure that the forces of light, the forces of peace, reason will win. However, I would like to ask Taro, will Ukraine gain independent state in the nearest future? Maybe, you know, I try to make videos daily. Uh, I wouldn't say now for one year, I would say in nearest future. So the first question will be, will Ukraine gain independence? Second question would be, will it be entire Ukraine or partial independence? These two questions I will um, ask Taro and see what will happen. Eleventh major arcana. The card is called Justice. Very interesting that first of all major arcana. There are twenty-one major arcana here, and seventy-eight cards. We've got major arcana. This card of importance. It is important moment in Ukrainian history. It is also very important moment in the world history. We now approach new time, and this time is forming right now. Justice is a very important card. It says that the world will see the difference between light and between darkness. And this difference is so obvious with this card, Justice. Also, this card says that even if you feel like it's very unjust right now what's going on and i feel this way it's terribly unjust the justice will be done what about nearest future will ukraine be independent that that was my question number 11 in numerology number 11 could mean two because one plus one makes two or 11 so 11 can mean 11 months, 11 years, 11 days, or two months, two years. This is the tarot answer. Of course, uh, tarot just gives us the um, pondering, thinking about it, and um, gives us more like open a uh, picture. Justice is a very good card. That means that the, the, the war that Putin put on Ukraine, this horrible war, uh, will be stopped and justice will be done. This is a good sign. However, question was, will Ukraine be independent in the near future? And Justice Card says that number 11 Justice will be done for sure. However, the manifestation of evil is coming to the fullest right now. This is what I see. If you read Tara, write a comment. What do you see? Second card is the star. Of course, Tara is best to read um, with several cards, not one. Now I 
can understand more because justice and star both are major arcana yes the history is forming right now it's a historical moment it's a moment of new reality the 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 evil was hidden it was under the cover the plan of entering into sovereign Ukraine formed long time ago, long time ago. And right now the evil shows its, um, its action. So they will be judged by action because uh, justice is an action card. The evil will be judged by action. And the star says, yes, Ukraine will be independent one day because everyone deserves be independent. Every country deserves be independent. So the star is new independent Ukraine. However, question was when, right? That was a question. When Ukraine is going to be independent? What can we do from the Western world to help, to protect, to give our support, moral support, financial support? when Ukraine will be independent, because now with their blood they are fighting for their independence. Eight of Chalices. Eight of Chalices is a card of perspective. There is a bridge on the background of this card. I will make a, a picture of, of the spread and put it at the end of the video so you can see the cards for yourself. I'll just describe it to you. There is a bridge behind this figure. This figure could be the world's figure. And we see in front of us three cups. The blood, the, the, the envy, the greed. Green and red is poured out of these cups. And on the background, there are two cups, new, fresh, alive. Yes, the world seemed to be divided in three parts in the past and it was it was a it was a cold war it was very it it was very hidden nowadays all what were all of greed anger dirt blackness of um, intruding into sovereign territory of ukraine all the putin's black, blackness of his of, of his war is now poured of those three cups and it's, it's just he, he and his actions and actions uh, the, with people who are with him showed, showed their full um, manifestation of darkness in, inside. Because the cops are um, just not standing still, they're just lying on the ground. So the blood is shed. The, the, the darkness of greed, which is green color here, is also shed. And behind is two new cups. It's, a, it's two worlds that are in front of us. Two wor worlds, as I said before, one, one world, uh, world leads to future progress, te new technology, uh, sustainable energy, and another world, dark world, that is still fighting is still using this idea who has power um, power like you know weapons is 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 uh, decide weapons decide um, it's very very stressful for everyone and we are stressed we are scared but ukraine pays with their blood with their lives i will take one card as advice to you and me the advice card came out is is night of um, night of swords. So the night is um, traditionally the night is someone who has just just sword. Although you know for the past thirty years um, the Western world decided that we don't need swords. We can talk, we can find dip diplomatic, economical advantages between countries. However, now 
it is terrible. Everyone is scared, everyone tries to protect, everyone one is uh, not drawing the sword, but um, preparing sword just in case. The Knight of Sword is a warrior, and you decide, is it warrior of peace or warrior of war? I know that the world is divided, and I speak in English, English understood um, in every country. So you decide what, what do you choose. You choose um, light, you choose peace, you, you choose economical agreements, di diplomacy between countries. You choose progress, better medical help, uh, wealth of everyone. You choose development of technologies. Do you choose um, sustainable energy or do you choose a dark world where um, bombs talk louder than people and whoever has more bombs decides the fate of, of planet. So it could be warrior of peace, protector, or it could be someone who is intruding, someone who is uh, pushing their own will to sovereign country. You decide who this person is, and I would love, if, if it's possible, that you write me in comment. What does this Knight of Swords represent to you and I will respect your opinion as long as it's not insulting towards a uh, creator towards me I will um, I will read your opinion and we open we have open discussion we want dialogue with both worlds we don't we want dialogue because uh, if there's no dialogue there's no hope as long as there is dialogue there is hope so the Knight of Swords. Let's take another advice. Ace of Pentacles. It's a new beginning. It's a new happy world. It is um, Ace is the first card in Tarot. It means beginning. Something something is emerging. Right now, something is emerging. Something is uh, ready to be born. And it's not sword ready to be born. It's not, um, it's not, you know, like bombs talk. No, it's a pentacles. Pentacles means joy, happiness, economical, um, e um, economical uh, traits. It means um, exchange of ideas. It means sun because pentacles, they do look like sun. It means vitality, health, new world is forming right now and it is a world of happiness, uh, agreement, peace and also um, this card is encouraging for you and me who live in Western world because yes sanctions are also might mean that we will have less uh, commodities however we don't mind because this is a fair price to pay for better world tomorrow for our children grandchildren and for you and me because we intend to live long we intend to live happy we intend to enjoy this beautiful earth and this card gives a lot of hope a lot of hope because this is new beginning for for trades for for happiness for freedom for freedom of speech of course for freedom of life because everyone who is born on earth has all has those freedom by birth these are birth rights and no one has uh, rights to deprive you and me and ukrainian people of those uh, basic rights ace of pentacles i see it this way this is how this card talks to me However, I will invite you, please do write a comment, because I am so eager um, all the time when I post a video. I am so eager to, to hear from you. It's such a joy that we can communicate. Uh, give you my love from Canada. Uh, look after yourself, be happy and hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now.